Good morning from the Orlando Science Center. We're here today because it's a fun place to go, number one. But number two, <laughs> they're having their annual technology convention mm -hmm. called Otronicon, where they have all kinds of new technology and different people that produce new technology, independent technology, mm -hmm. games. There's a lot of, last year, there was a lot of like VR. Yeah. There was a lot of, we got to actually ride Slinky Dog in VR before the ride opened. Yeah, because Disney's cool. here. Yeah, which we're excited to see what Disney is going to have today. Yeah. They always have something new every year. One year they had the Tiki Bird, like animatronic. Yeah. One year they had the Navi animatronic, the shaman. The shaman, yeah, without any, it was, without any skin on it. Yeah, it was just her like innards. It was very interesting. Yeah, so let's go inside and see what they got. Yeah. Ooh, they've got some top secret license to spy. That's not here yet, is it? No, it'll be coming soon. In this hall right now is all the Otronicon stuff. So after Otronicon, we got a top secret thing. We'll have to come back and see if we can, uh, crack the code oh yeah or like what i wonder what it is i don't know because i feel like you have to get into a safe yeah and you have to carry a briefcase and like tell secrets and you have to be on that show about spies what's this like spy obsession thing that's happening ah see today was the day to come because it will get much more popular over the next few days yeah look at your little science outfit you're wearing a dinosaur overall and it says Mighty, Mighty cool, cool dude. dude. <laughs> <laughs> Here's all the Disney stuff. I don't know who this guy is. They have like a little animatronic of a tree of some sort. It's like the recycle tree. And then over here, you can build your own nighttime spectacular using VR. They've got some examples of some explosives, like some fireworks. You got Sorcerer Mickey and some of his brooms. We have a way to control some water fountains here with your hand. Look, there's Sorcerer Mickey up there. There are three different sections in the Disney exhibit that compose a nighttime spectacular. They've got the fountain aspect, they've got fireworks and projection mapping, and then you get to build your own nighttime spectacular. What you do is you check off different things on this card, and that is what comprises your nighttime spectacular. So you can do, like you, do you make something with all three of these things? Yeah, like you do the projections. Okay. You pick either Mulan, Tangled, or uh, Sorcerer Mickey. And the fireworks, these are the different colors of fireworks using the different chemicals. Oh. And then the water fountains, depending on how you want them to look. If they go side to side, if they go straight up, or if they're a fan. That's cool. And then you get to see your final product? Yeah, in VR. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Here's the fountain section, and they have a little hand control over here where you use hand motions to set off different sections of the fountain. So you really do look like Sorcerer Mickey, and you can kind of use the sheet music to like... And then they have projection mapping and they're kind of showing on the computer how you can change the different shapes to match whatever it's projecting on. So like this is kind of like a, an artistic version of the castle and you can see they've got parts of Tangled playing on there. And then they also have some disassembled fireworks shells. Wow. So this is what gets launched at night during Happily Ever After. Oh, and they kind of explain it here too. So wait, is this like you're actually projecting onto this castle? Yeah, um, and you can see this this person right here is like adjusting it so they can like kind of move it to fit the different shapes on there. It's like resizing an image. So now you're changing that oh. and you're making it match a shape on the, on the castle there. So that's how you could adjust it. Oh, if, if I was actually doing projection mapping. Yeah, right around the corner from Disney, there is Full Sail and they're gonna let you play Beat Saber lightsaber like guitar hero but a lightsaber beat saber okay all right so how'd that fit to your face you want it tighter um i think that's pretty good okay oh do i just hit it oh yeah okay. so swipe it in the direction you see so if it shows up you swipe oh, up oh okay okay i'm gonna act like this is you playing you're doing so great no that's actually just an example i know but it makes it, it makes her look better <laughs> look at how good you are jen you're so good at this game wow you're really doing it. I can tell by how much you're moving your hands. Oh, you're on to the next level. Oh, I got it. I failed it again. Did you fail? Oh, and right next to Jen, there's this little robot guy over here. I don't know what it looks like. He's made with, with Legos. I want to build my own nighttime spectacular. I have to pick a movie, fireworks, and water effects. So I think I'm gonna do, let's do, let's do Tangled. Let's do, uh, 
copper and I think as many colors as oh, want. I want to do all of them then. Yeah. I want to do every color. Perfect. And and all of the water. Can I do? I only do one water. Okay, just the one that's right in the middle, the one that's already selected. All right, awesome. Hey, real quick, did you guys see? Monterey. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, fireworks. Oh. So these are the fireworks that you picked, like the colors that you picked. Oh yeah, there's oh, the projection. They that did you picked. perimeter fireworks too. Wow. Oh, and it's like World of Color. Oh, I didn't know you had. I have headphones on. Listen to last I saw the light. I didn't know you had on headphones. Yeah, it's awesome looking. Oh, oh, big finish. Big finish. Wow. I'm surprised there was no hidden Mickey fireworks. Oh, yeah. Huh. Okay. All right, so. That was it. That was my version of Harmonious. <laughs> they have a little animatronic tree over here that uses technology to be able to figure out if the item is trash or recycling. So let's see, this one's trash. Can you tell me? Oh, he says it's trash. This is how they get okay. This is so perfect and pretend. So now let's see if he can figure out recycling. This one's recyclable. Oh, he said it. He said it was recyclable. That's a smart tree. Nice work. They have a virtual reality tour where you can tour Animal Kingdom Lodge. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna tour Animal Kingdom Lodge. Brought, virtual reality. They brought a bed. That's like, I know it's kind of funny, right? Like. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I'm like inside of Animal Kingdom Lodge right now. <laughs> so they this got... is what he's seeing over here. If I can hand you the remote too, oh, right yeah. there. The trigger is set up so you can point the white beam Whoa. and shoot and it'll move you around the room. Okay, I, I really 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 shot oh i'm standing over top yeah, of the bed standing now. On the bed now okay let's go over here and we'll look around we have the original headboards from when animal kingdom lodge first opened they've been extended up and added like a little like cushion to them then we've got all new dressers oh yeah and then look at this look at this like sunset view here it's really pretty that's uh, the beverage center over here. Like this is where the coffee maker would be. Then we've got these hand. Tim loves his coffee. Yeah. So we've got dressers over here, like new dressers. Do you see how it turns into the bathrooms. I wonder if I can look out over top of the savanna. Oh yeah. Can you go on the balcony? Oh, can't look go at out that. on the balcony, but I can look at it. Ooh, look at these curtains. <laughs> these are nice. Can you tell them how many USB um, plugs there are? Uh, I can't. I can't. I don't know if I have that much. <laughs> Let's see, I'm on top. Oh, oh, we got some right here. Those are probably most definitely USB plugs. I'm thinking so. But can you guys, can you, oh, oh, I'm like, I'm on top of the bed here. Can you guys see the detail? Yeah, These so, were all hand carved in Africa. Yeah. Oh, I like this little nightstand here that's like, hold on, let me go over here. So the nightstand next to the bed, I like that there's nothing underneath it, but a nice little spot for you to keep your phone at night. <laughs> Did you guys see the Mickey on the bed? Oh no, I lost it again. Where is it? Like in the right, headboard? Right there. Oh yes, I do see that. <laughs> How come I can't see Stacy on the TV? Yeah, where's Stacy? Oh, this, you can this go door? through the door. Oh, I'm in the other room. Okay. I'm outside now. Wow. <laughs> I think it's because I'm sitting on the bed and I'm not in the right plane for the, the things. Oh yeah, look at that. There's the dresser. This is nice. <laughs> wow. I wonder what that, I wonder what that, uh... Oh, now I'm outside. Look at that. Do you see any animals? No, I don't. Oh, okay. Oh no, I'm stuck in a glass case of emotion. <laughs> oh, so the other cool thing is that this bed is actually an old bed from the Polynesian. And these tables are from uh, Wilderness Lodge. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh, wow, look at that. There's like all kinds of Disney history here. I can't even see myself in the mirror. I'm a vampire. <laughs> Ooh, that was weird because I'm like facing a different direction oh, were in you? real life versus in VR. Somebody was too sciencey for the science club and he fell asleep. <laughs> too much science for one day. So they got some fireworks here. What it do you was... think, Jen? I, I'm kind of confused. So this is the cross section. Of that. Okay, and this goes in the tube? Yeah. You know how they have the tubes on the side of the road? Yeah, like kind of like thing? that. Yeah, yeah, So the big circle goes into like a big tube, and it's 
shot out? Yeah, like you can kind of see it here. The lift charge on the bottom, that's what this is here. Okay. And that's the fuse. Okay. And then all of these things are like the things that, that uh, the, the gar what does that say? Garniture. Like the actual color, the colorful part. Yeah, the things that make the shapes. Wow. So what mm. shape would this make? A circle. Is that what it is? Like, oh, is I it, don't know. Is it actually, do you know what I mean? It, it would be a circle? Yeah. Okay. Wow. That's pretty interesting. So this is the inside of that? Well, I think that's just a prop. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's like very much a cartoon rocket. Well, I didn't know. <laughs> I've never seen him before in real life. I don't know what this one would produce. Yeah, what, would this be like a cylinder shape? No, it could be different shapes. It oh, could okay. be different things, because this obviously would look like a dandelion, you know, like okay. traditional fireworks. So gotcha. that could be packed in different ways to blow in different directions and make shapes. So, oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. But they all get loaded into tubes and blown out of tubes. This is a green hornet's nest. Wow. Those are oh, dragon yeah. eggs. You can have like the... Uh... The comet fan. Yeah. That's like the... Right, right. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that they were that big. Yeah. Holy well, these God. are the biggest. Right. So, did you realize that they were this heavy? <laughs> if you think about it. Oh my gosh. How much does this weigh? I, I don't know, but it's plenty to it, go yeah. up, you know, like a thousand feet or more up into the air. That's a lot. Holy cow. It feels like it's probably 25 pounds. Really? More than Jackson? Yeah, th definitely more than Jackson. He weighs 12 pounds. This weighs <laughs> way more than 12 pounds. It's definitely up there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Like a bowling oh, ball. ball. I don't that know. makes I'm sense, thinking. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop. Inert. It's okay. <laughs> Fun fact, Disney is one of the first companies to use air to launch their fireworks. So they have pneumatic launches of fireworks. It's not, not an explosion. It's a <laughs> air launch. And those are safer. Microsoft is over here with some examples of different controllers. This is like an arcade controller, and this is the accessibility controller. So like if somebody needs larger buttons or needs to connect the buttons to a different, like if they need to use like just their pinky finger, they can use that and, and assign the buttons to different areas. So you can Velcro them to this pad and arrange them in any way that you want. And then they've got the bigger versions of the buttons over here. Oh, we just got up to the fourth floor and they've got a little advertisement here that says, dine with the dinosaurs, dance under the stars and celebrate with the Orlando Science Center. It looks like you can have your own private event here. Did you see this one? Till Death Star do us part? Yeah. Whoa. It's actually yeah, this like looks a really cool. pretty, well, it's a really pretty venue, especially this outside area. Oh yeah. So up here on the fourth floor, they have a bunch of artists and various people that are selling their wares and goods. Look, they got a baby Yoda right there. They have a bunch of indie games up here in a section called Indie Nomicon. This is a company called Magic Bytes and they are using Scratch, a little easy programming language to kind of introduce STEM learning to kids. So they have this little box that has all interchangeable parts in it that the kids in schools can use, like we said, Scratch, in order to program whatever they want. So like this little robot is running off of this kit right here. And when you show him black, he does a little dance, and then he turns off the lights on the display. There he goes. And that was all programmed with Scratch, like a kid could have done that. That's my new favorite song. Yeah, me too. What goes on under the hood? It's a sine wave sound like versus a sawtooth wave. And before they run away. What do y'all like to do? Like what do y'all like to do? They gave me a sticker. I'm gonna be a future scientist. Oh, what do you think, Jackson? I think you might be a future inventor if you ever wake up. <laughs> oh, they have a Da Vinci robot over here where you can do orthoscopic surgery just on a perfection game. Oh yeah, I forgot about all the dinosaurs up in here. We got NASA over here. We got some more virtual reality stuff. It looks like he's controlling this robot maybe. Something's happening. And there's like a little, oh, a roller coaster simulator? That's fun. Let's see. Oh no, 
Oh no, she's going over the hill. Ah! <laughs> Looks like Lockheed Martin is back here with a lot of well, like video game type things and virtual reality or simulator type things. Ooh, you're gonna fly a whole simulator right here. I have a helicopter simulator. I've flown a helicopter before. It's very difficult. All around the science center, they have this selfie safari that you have to go around and find all the different selfie stations and then you can drop off your checklist and you might win what, what do you win you might win a family four pack or stop adulting four pack of tickets to visit wall crawl orlando i don't know what that is i don't know what wall crawl orlando is but sounds interesting anyways here's one of the selfie stations looks like a super fun spot to get some selfie action going with some inflatable dinosaurs here's my version of a selfie right here ah, ah, he's attacking me Oh no, you're being attacked by a dinosaur. Be careful. Oh no, somebody's starting to wake up. Oh, there he is. Eyes open. Eyes open. I think it's time for us to feed him and then head out. Somebody got a wardrobe change because... Oh, <laughs> he had a true blowout today. Oh yeah. Like, it was all in his car seat. I don't oh, know if you guys... It's gross. clean. It's just wet. It's clean, but... And it wasn't because of the size of the diaper. It was because the little tabs, the little frilly things. Yeah. I think they were inside. So all the poop just kind of like spilled right out. Yeah. And he was sitting. So it kind of like squished it out the side too. Yeah, it did. Nice. What do you think, Jackson? Do you want to get something to eat now? Yeah. He's all clean. He's good to go. He's loving it. So, hawkers it is. This is our favorite deal here. They have these small plates available for $3. And four dollar house wines and three dollar beers too but that roadie mm, oh man that roadie's the best and then i totally always get this yaki udon it's so good we get this roadie every single time and right now it's, it's happy hour so we got two of them and each of them were three dollars heck yeah oh yeah for sure come during happy hour three to six and nine to close oh sunday through thursday so oh, they do a good. weekend day. these are my east street tacos bulgogi beef Good. Has a little spicy logo next to it. Kind of <laughs> scary. And then we got these too. These are called Nam Nam rolls. So it has like a, a so like a ground sausage inside, like a pork sausage. No, it's, it's chicken. Oh, is it chicken? Yeah. Oh, but this is how it looks. Oops. Oh no, oh, I broke no. it. I broke it. I'm sorry. But it's kind of like a, a big summer roll kind of. Yeah. And then it has like some crispy thing on the inside too. This is like a crispy thing right here. And they told us to make like a special... So this is their like cilantro. I don't know what it is. It's like a cilantro sauce. Yeah. And then this is the tomatillo sauce. And they said, mix it together, which is what I did over here. And it's so good on these Nam Nam rolls. Yeah. Like delicious. It tastes so, so good. So now we're back home after a delicious dinner at Hawker's. It's always good. Yeah. And it was a good time at the Science Center too for Otronicon. We didn't stay as long as I initially wanted to. Uh, just because we had Jackson with us and everything and we can't really stay out as long as we normally would with a baby. But I really wanted to go to Otronicon, which is why, um, Jackson was with us. Because if I get to go to these things, then Jackson comes as well. Yeah. So I really wanted to go. Yeah. And it's always fun to see what Disney brings because Disney comes every yes. year. And in years past, they've done stuff like the, the Navi animatronic, mm -hmm. the Tiki Bird animatronic. This year they were doing kind of like projection mapping. It seemed like they didn't bring as much this year as they have in years past. No, but I thought it was really funny that they did the um, the room tour. Yeah. And at first I was like, well, that's kind of silly. But then we were talking to um, the girls that were like running the booth. And now I understand they do that so that the like higher ups, like the executives can see the changes before they are actually implemented in the rooms. Yeah. And I think that's actually kind of cool. Yeah, it's like, a smart idea. Yeah, like once we once we talked to them and we figured out why they were doing it, I thought that was neat. And then we got to see the old Polynesian bed. Um, so that was actually kind of cool. But also they have like NASA and Lockheed Martin yeah. and tons of other companies like indie gaming companies. And indie and, artists. Oh, yeah, they did. They had some cool artists upstairs, too. I don't know. So it's a, it's a neat event. It, it was smaller this year than it yeah. has been in years past. But it was still something that I'm glad that we got to check out and we got to see. And we renewed our membership to the Science Center, so we'll be going more often. But we had a really good day, and yeah, I'm glad that I got to go out and like hang out, and, and Jackson got to come, and I don't know, it was a good time. Yeah. We always love the Science Center. Yeah. So, oh, oh what? and sorry, I know I keep cutting you off, but I can't wait to go check out the spy thing. Oh, yeah. I think that'll be cool. Yeah. So, so all in all, a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. And, and now, now it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price.